have an update for you on a developing situation right now. We have been following a breaking scene at Perry High School. We just updated you within the last half hour, bringing you what we know so far. Yeah, so we have been reaching out to law enforcement out in that area. We reached out to emergency management out there. We have crews on the way right now. We do have Megan McPherson live out there right now. Megan, you just got there a few minutes ago. What's going on out there? What are you seeing? What are you hearing right now? Chanu, Samantha, this is a very active and busy situation here right now in Perry. As soon as we got word this morning, we were on our way out here. I just arrived on scene a couple minutes ago. I want you to take a look behind me here. There is several police departments and law enforcement officials here from all across the state. As I was driving here this morning, I, I was passed by multiple police cars, multiple ambulances. This is clearly a all hands on deck situation here in Perry right now. We have little confirmed at the moment, but as we have told you, online and here on We Are Iowa, um, the, the shooting call or the active shooter situation was reported about 740 AM this morning here in Perry. Again, there is limited information at this time. If there have been any casualties, uh, we don't know much about the suspect. If the suspect has been detained, if the suspect is down. But as of right now, we are monitoring the situation. I also just saw a helicopter come here and land down um, right here in this area behind me where all this police presence is at the moment. So that's what I can give you guys right now. We, of course, are waiting to hear from law enforcement for an update about any suspected casualties, um, any victims, you know, again, about the suspect as well. But again, a very, very large and active presence here right now in Perry. And Megan, right now where you're standing, how far or how close or how far are you from the uh, Perry High School and Middle School there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chinu, we, it's hard to say um, when I was coming here, I, I believe we're uh, right now, you can see kind of behind us, if I could have my photog pan, we're right by the bus barn here. So we are pretty close to the school. This is about how close we can get as of right now. Of course, law enforcement has the streets blocked off in and around Perry. So it's, it's very limited right now. Anybody trying to come here, it's very limited. Only law enforcement and media uh, presence is here at this time. So I would say we are maybe about four or five minutes away from the school itself, but this is about as close as we can get right now. Megan, you saw a lot of response as you were driving there working to get to the scene. What kind of response did you see? A lot of vehicles rushing to that area. But, um, but we do know is that yeah, absolutely, Samantha. From the minute that I got on the highway here, heading towards Perry, actually right in the Grimes area, multiple, multiple law enforcement officials, multiple police officers. I saw state troopers. I saw Dallas County officers. I saw, you know, multiple uh, smaller municipality police officers coming to the area, of course, with their lights flashing, everybody moving over. So there is a lot of traffic in this area right now. If you are heading in the Grimes area, or of course, heading here towards Perry, so that is something to keep in mind. But again, this is a very, very active presence. Again, there is a helicopter here right now. I've seen state troopers and then also south southbound uh, on the other side of the highway from when I was coming here. I did see Dallas County ambulances um, heading that way as well. So if that is any indication that this is clearly an active shooter situation, that is clearly an indication there has been massive ambulance presence and um, it's pretty clear that there is something going on there, some kind of medical response needed to the situation, but again, little confirmed at this time. And Megan, any crowds out there at this time, like students or staff or anything like that, or are you just seeing right now law enforcement out there? Mm -hmm. Yes, aside from the huge law enforcement presence behind me, I do see a lot of school officials. Um, again, it's not clear right now. I, I do see um, on the other side of us behind us here, there are some parents. I've also seen people walking uh, away from the school across the street from us and heading out of this area. So it is presumed that these cops are trying to get anybody in the area out of here. Like I mentioned, the streets are blocked off all in and around the school. So clearly they are trying to get everybody out of this area as quickly and safely as possible, but a lot of onlookers in and around us here clearly concerned about this situation. Megan, when uh, when you got to the scene, we know there's a lot of response, heavy response. We do also know DMAC for those affected by this. DMAC campuses and centers, the Perry Center is closed today. This is in response to this situation, closed all canceled classes for today. So we want to let everyone at home know the, how the, the school is moving forward in this. Uh, Megan, as you wrap up, as we will stay with you as you learn more information. So be sure to stay with us on air and online. We thank you for working to find information for being out there right now as this scene develops. Yeah.